Tim here. Well, tomorrow, about this time, I might be a van dweller. Or at least I'll own a van. I won't dwell in it right away. I'm going to look at a van tomorrow, and it's one that I've been checking out online on Craigslist. Fairly inexpensive, but something that I could probably work with. I can uh, convert into something that I can take off-road and go do a lot of camping, do some traveling with. And so tomorrow this is the big day. I'll be leaving early in the morning, taking a bus from Prescott to Phoenix, from Phoenix to Ehrenberg, which is where the... Actually, I'll be taking the bus from Phoenix to Blythe. The van is in Ehrenberg, and then I'll, somebody's going to meet me there. I'm going to check it out. And if it looks good, I'll drive it back in the afternoon back to Prescott. So the van that I'm going to look at um, is an older van, which is what I wanted. It's uh, I don't want one of the newer vans that has all the electronics and the computers and, you know, where if anything happens, you have to take it into a shop. I like the older vehicles, simpler systems that I can, if need be, repair on my own. Uh, the van is a four-wheel drive, and um, it's a Chevy van. It's an older van, 1985. Um, it was once converted into, a, it was a conversion van before. It had a rack with solar panels and a bed and sink, a kitchen area. Uh, since then, it's been kind of stripped out again. The, the owner now, or the previous owner, took everything off and took everything out of it. So it's kind of a... a a blank slate, you know, that I can work with. Uh, it'll be a fun project. I think that, uh, you know, doing the work yourself instead of buying one that's complete, you get a little bit more satisfaction. Um, you know the systems better, the, the electrical and the plumbing and all that. Um, and, you, you know, doing it yourself, you kind of have a, more of a feeling of accomplishment. Um, I consider a lot of things, you know, when as far as what type of vehicle to get. Uh, I kind of ruled out RVs pretty quickly. To me, most RVs that I've seen, you know, those Tioga type, they're just kind of pretty cheap, almost like cardboard boxes on a chassis. Um, and they're, you know, they're made really for the weekend or the summer vacations, not for people that do a lot of traveling cross country all the time, you know, year round, people that live in their, their vehicles, um, they, they really don't stand up to, to that kind of uh, use. So I considered that, I've considered, you know, I've saw some of the uh, school, short school bus conversions that people have done, those looked interesting. Um, I like those, the metal body, you know, that, that you can, instead of the the particle board or the wood that some of these RVs have. Um, and then I looked at some of the, the van dwellers, and they seem to be, a, you know, the, those vehicles are a little more stealthy, a little better on the gas mileage. Um, you don't have as much room, but if it's just you, such as in my case and a couple dogs, um, you don't need as much room. And some of them, of course, you can do the, uh, the pop top or the, the put the high top on. Um, so that's kind of the area that I'm going right now but instead of just a van I, I want something that I can really get off-road I can really you know if, if I want to go out in the forest or out in the desert and and not worry about getting stuck um, which RVs and, and vans regular vans typically you, you have that limitation um, and like I said, the van that I'm looking at now, or that I'll be looking at tomorrow, is four-wheel drive. I think it needs a little work on it, but it's still I can, will be able to eventually use the four-wheel drive if I have to. Um, and that's kind of more the area that I'm focusing on with with this van is more of the overland expedition type vehicle uh, that that you can you know get out and really get away from everything and and. and uh, survive for a while if you don't want to. I guess that kind of that off-grid type uh, livable vehicle. Um, so it should be interesting tomorrow. Long day. 
Um, and I'll let you guys know in the next video whether or not I got the van.